الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم said لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه none of you truly believe until he wishes for his brother what he wishes for himself so it is very clear we are one body we are one family we are one society so what is going here in Gaza in Palestine it is affecting my mother my father my brother he the blood shed there is my blood and we have to do our best we have to help them we have to aid them we have to struggle and strive for our brothers if we are muslimin if we are mu'minin if we are seeking the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa'tasimu bihablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraqu and hold fast all of you together to the rope of allah that is the quran and be not divided among yourselves now it is the victory insha'Allah which we all see and the hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send his victory to those our brothers who are fighting and those who are mujahideen fi sabirillah I am not feeling that the end is bad or the issues will be worse no there are many many wonderful lessons from what is going now in Gaza number one the people in Gaza and in Palestine, <clears throat> they made awareness of the unity of the Ummah. Look to the demonstrations and the Muslimin all over the world, in areas which you never imagine, South Africa, in Australia, in America, in Brazil, in Venezuela, in Europe, in Africa. It is one nation and one Ummah. And look in Turkey, millions are demonstrating Turkey, which is ruled by secular authorities. Look what is going on, as well as in the whole Arabic world. From Mauritania, Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Sudan, Egypt, and all the Arabs are now showing the unity of this Ummah. The second thing is that the reality of the Zionists had been exposed. They are killing children. They are killing women. They are killing civilians. And they don't care. There is no mercy at all. And I want you to imagine that you are sitting in your home. And then a missile comes. Destroying the whole building. Through F-16. Through the Apache. Through these new tanks. Through the phosphoric bombing. They are killing without any mercy. They are killing our sons our daughters i think all of you have seen the funeral of the babies the kids who were three years old four five and their mother and their families we all have seen what happened to the sheikh nizar rahimahullah he was killed with 13 of his family they don't care this propaganda of humanity rights freedom it is all exposed now between the western the those liars and the zionists of the jews which they are heartless and they don't care and those who are carrying these propaganda of the civilized western uh, uh, people and culture it is exposed again the issue of al-masjid al-aqsa this is a very holy place Ula al-qiblatayn wa thalith al-haramayn and the area of al-sham Asham, the place of Ahl al-Ribat, the place where the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ahluha fi ribat. And there are many ahadith talking about Asham and al-Masjid al-Aqsa. La tushaddu al-Rihal illa ila thalathati masajid. Al-Masjid al-Haram wa Masjidi hadha wa al-Masjid al-Aqsa. And the salah fi al-Masjid al-Aqsa bi khamsimiyat salah fi ma siwa. And the people there are defending the whole ummah. They are raising their voice. Ummatul Islam is alive. We are not dead. We are not dead. We are alive. And I am sure, I am sure that the victory will come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those who are mujahideen, muhtasibeen, sabireen. And inshallah, the enemies and the allies will be defeated. 
المسجد الأقصى أجين الله سبحانه وتعالى says in the Holy Quran سبحان الذي أسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام الذي إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من آياتنا إنه هو السميع العليم glorified and exalted is he Allah above all that evil they associated with him who took his slave Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم for a journey by night from al-masjid al-haram at Mecca to al-masjid al-aqsa in al-Quds Jerusalem the neighborhood whereof we have blessed in order that we might show him Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم of our ayat signs and evidences verily he is the all hearer and the all seer brothers and sisters we are all asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give his victory to give his mercy and our role is not only to talk our role is to do and to act and to aid and to support and to help and to show Allah that we are brothers we are believers we are following the path of our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Jazakumullahu khayran wassalamu alaykum wa